The amygdala is a small almond shape, part deep in your brain. It decides how to react to fear, anger, pleasure, and even danger. But what if your diet, those chips and colas, is messing with that system? Think about it. The answer is special neurons in the amygdala that push you to eat junk food even when you're not hungry. These are called neurotensin neurons and when they are active you're more likely to reach out for that chips just for fun. Not because you need energy. You must have seen uh, when a friend is eating a bag of chips and you just eat your meal, you might be tempted to go ahead and eat at least a couple of chips. That is neurotensin neurons that are activated in amygdala and they're actually inviting you, they're motivating you to go and eat the chips. So the amygdala works like your brain's smoke detector. It scans for threats and triggers emotional response. It's hyperactive in anxiety, PTSD, and chronic stress. But here's the twist. It influenced by what you eat. Junk food, sugar, and ultra-processed meals can literally inflame your brain. The amygdala doesn't just process taste, also reacts to how food looks and smells. Example, even seeing pictures of food can activate your amygdala, making you crave things before even you take a bite. That is why food ads and Instagram food pics and videos on YouTube about food are so powerfully orchestrated that they're literally triggering your brain and reward circuits. And you must have seen that you just watch something on the screen and you say, okay, I want to eat this, isn't it? Now that's where it's so activated that I want you to go ahead and try it. So what happened next was in your 2021 study nu nutritional science found that the diets high in saturated fats increase amygdala activity, making a brain more reactive to fear and stress. Some foods, especially those high in sugar and fat, can hijack your amygdala's reward system. High in saturated fats like cheese, cream, and whipping cream, baked goods, pastries, cakes, cookies, processed meats, sausage, bacon, hot dogs, especially the ones that they cut with the fat, ice cream, palm oil, coconut oil, butter, pizzas, especially uh, topping with meat and extra cheese versions. You must have seen where you ask for, you know, I want some extra cheese, I want extra sausage, I want extra chicken, but with the fat, and that's dangerous. In animal studies, when scientists turned off those neurotensin neurons, here's the fact, mice stopped overeating junk food and even lost weight. But it's not all about indulgence. Amygdala also helps you stop eating when something tastes like spoiled food. It's your brain's way of protecting you. Now you must have seen when you uh, eat an, or you, you, you eat a rotten food and when you take the first bite, you immediately throw it off. 
spoiled milk. You take a sip, you throw it off. Spoiled fruits. You know, when you try to take a bite and you say, that's a funny smell, you throw it off, isn't it? That's a amygdala helping you. So when your amygdala is overactive, you're more likely to feel irritable, easily triggered, <laughs> anxious even without real danger. That's true. Overactiveness means, you must have seen in PTSD, nothing is going around, but they'll just get scared. Oh, something is happening, like, you know, it's not right. But actually nothing is happening on the surface. People who watch horror movies at night and they're sensitive to darkness, they start to feel uh, anxiety. They get that fear. Someone is watching. Someone is walking behind us. That's a make dollar. And guess what? It doesn't even stop there. The gut-brain axis plays a role too. The food you eat impact gut bacteria, which then influence brain inflammation and amygdala activity. So want to calm your brain, you want to calm your amygdala, then this is what you need to do. Feel more emotionally balanced. That's the first thing. Start with these brain-friendly foods. Now we're not talking about emotions, but we're talking about to calm amygdala. So here are some foods. You must have known omega-3 fatty acids like salmon and walnuts. Then comes dark leafy greens, vegetables like spinach, blueberries, antioxidant, turmeric, anti-inflammation, probiotics, yogurt, kimchi, kombucha. And what else can you do? Take the breathing exercises as well. That will also help you to calm amygdala. Especially, my recommendation is don't fill your stomach with high fat food. Don't fill it up. When you, when you drink a lot of thick shakes, you know, when you drink uh, a lot of, uh, when you drink thick shakes, when you have pastries, a lot of cakes, donuts, a lot of uh, sweets, you know, like uh, Indian sweets, you know, like you're eating too much of it. That's dangerous. So, are you feeling more anxious lately? Overwhelmed for no reason? It not might be just your schedule, it might be your snacks. Change your food, change your brain. Drop in the comments if you're ready to feed your brain better. If this blew your mind, hit that like button, share it with a friend who is always stressed, and subscribe for more neuroscience backed hacks for a better brain. Take care of your brain, and the brain will take care of you. I'll see you next time on a new video. Thank you.